nobody's happy about this. Students upset, teachers are upset. It's not a great mood today at all. Hundreds of students crowd into the hallway outside Superintendent Robert Kravitz's office, protesting the transcript discrepancies in the Inglewood School District. It's a riot. There's nobody in class. Everyone's standing outside the superintendent's office waiting for him to come out. It's a mob. I don't have a guidance counselor to talk to for the next two months. The guidance counselor that they're hiring and the principal, I have no idea who they are, and I really don't trust them with my grades and enough to talk to them about my problems. That guidance counselor, one of 10 high level district employees on a 60 day suspension after an independent audit found 3,000 graduation credit and grade changes made last year. Now students are afraid their college applications may be in jeopardy. A lot of people have been getting denied from colleges where they should have been getting accepted due to the transcript changes. I'm supposed to play soccer at a college starting in the fall and I need help with my transcript and paperwork and I have no idea how to do it and my guidance counselor walked me through since my freshman year with everything helping me out. In a letter to parents, Superintendent Robert Kravitz said, quote, our highest priority is the integrity of our school system and maintaining the public's trust and confidence that we are doing everything within our power to safeguard and advance the interests of our children. But David says she's one of many students who feels anything but safe. It's ridiculous. I don't, I have no idea what the board was thinking. Some parents are actually threatening to sue the school district if their children don't get into the colleges because of this discrepancy with the transcript and college credits. The school will be closed next week for winter break, but specialized counselors will be on hand from 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. helping the students figure all this out and make sure that they have everything ready as they prepare to go to college. We're live in Inglewood, New Jersey. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News.